I am going to explain you about salt hydrolysis. It is from ionic equilibrium chapter. So after this explanation, we are going to solve the theoretical bits regarding salt hydrolysis. See how salt is formed. Usually salt is formed from uh, neutralization reactions. Neutralization reaction means the acid combines with a base to form salt and water. So it is a neutralization reaction. Acid reacts with base to form salt and water water. Here salt contains cation and anion. The cation of salt reacts with water to produce H plus ions it is called salt hydrolysis or anion of salt reacts with water to produce OH minus ions. It is the salt hydrolysis. We have two definitions cation of the salt reacts with water to produce H plus ions or anion of the salt react with water to produce OH minus ions. So it is neutralization reaction, it is salt hydrolysis. It clearly says that salt hydrolysis is the reverse process of neutralization reaction. See here acids are of two types, we know well strong acids and weak acids strong acids. Strong acids mean the acids which undergo complete ionization at higher concentration. There is no effect of water upon extent of ionization. Weak acids are the substances which partially undergo ionization. There is a effect of dilution on extent of ionization. When dilution increases, extent of ionization is also increases for weak electrolytes. DOD degree of dissociation of strong acids is 1. De DOD of weak acids is not equals to 1 that always less than 1. DOD of weak electrolyte is 1 at infinite dilution. Example for strong acids are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, HNO3 etc. For weak acids especially we are taking acetic acid. In the same way bases also strong base and weak base. Example for strong bases are NaOH, KOH and here ammonium hydroxide etc. These are the examples for strong acids and weak acids, strong bases and weak bases. From these acids and bases salts are formed. For example, salt may formed from weak acid and strong base weak acid and strong base. Salt may formed from weak base and strong acid. Salts are formed from weak acid and weak bases. And salts are formed from strong acid and strong bases. Four types of salts are formed. We will discuss these four categories in this salt hydrolysis part. Salt hydrolysis is of two types. One is cationic hydrolysis, salt hydrolysis and anionic salt hydrolysis. Cationic salt hydrolysis mean cation reacts with H2O to produce H plus ions. So H plus ions are produced in the solution. H plus ions produced means the forming solution is acidic in nature. So acidic solution is formed. Acidic solution is formed. If the solution is acid, what is the pH? pH is less than 7. What is the litmus change? Blue litmus changed into red color. And the second category is anionic salt hydrolysis. Anionic salt hydrolysis means anion reacts with H2O to produce OH minus ions. OH minus ions are produced in anionic salt hydrolysis. So if OH minus ions are produced, what kind of solution that is basic solution. Basic solution is formed. If the solution is basic in nature, what is the pH value? pH value is always, uh, pH value is greater than 7. 
the litmus color changes red litmus is converted into blue color so it is cationic salt hydrolysis it is anionic salt hydrolysis now we will discuss the salts of different kinds okay see in the first one is salt of salt which is formed from weak acid and salt strong base weak acid example of weak acid is you know acetic acid strong base i am taking here sodium hydroxide h2o is uh, eliminating removing and sodium acetate is formed it is the salt h2o so in sodium acetate it undergoes ionization how na plus ch3 coo minus because CH3COO minus acetate ion which is coming from acetic acid it can act as a strong conjugate base so this anion particularly reacts with H2O rather than Na plus Na plus is coming from stronger so acetic acid acetate ion reacts with H2O to produce acetic acid and OH minus ions so in the solution what ions are produced oh minus ions are produced oh minus ions are produced means what kind of solution is formed basic solution is formed so oh minus ion is formed by the reaction of anion with water so which kind of hydrolysis it is anionic hydrolysis anionic salt hydrolysis basic solution is formed pH is how much greater than 7 in anionic hydrolysis basic solution is formed pH is greater than 7 red litmus is converted into blue color and see very important point hydrolysis constant hydrolysis constant can be calculated like this ionic product of water divided by which one is weaker here acetic acid is weaker here so k k means dissociation constant of an acid okay so this is the way to calculate hydrolysis constant and also calculate the ph we can guess the ph ph is greater than 7 no that's why 7 plus more than 7 so 7 plus half pka half pka why because acid is weaker one base is stronger one alpha value is one for uh, strong electrolyte plus half log c c stands for concentration of the solution okay so these are the facts of uh, salt of weak acid and salt strong base see by seeing the side heading we can guess by seeing the side heading we can guess the uh, we can guess some points here strong base is there so if if strong base is there the solution nature is basic basic in nature for basic solution what kind of uh, uh, ions are formed oh minus ions are formed so which one is weaker acid is weaker so ka is there so kw by ka because ka is there in ph also 7 plus half pka is there of course half log c is added because uh, ph is greater than 7 okay so i am taking the next salt second one is salt of strong acid and weak base strong acid example hydrochloric acid weak base ammonium hydroxide both reacting together to form ammonium chloride and water Ammonium chloride also undergo ionization to produce ammonium ion and Cl minus ion. Ammonium ion is coming from weak base, so it is a strong. It act as a uh, stronger one, and it involves in salt hydrolysis. It involves in salt hydrolysis. So NH4 plus reacts with H2O to form and to produce. H plus ions in the solution 
So cation reacts with H2O to produce H plus ions. This is the salt hydrolysis. Finally, in the solution, H plus ions are produced. No? That's why it is cationic hydrolysis. The nature of solution is acidic. Acidic solution is formed. If the solution is in acidic nature, pH is less than 7. pH is how much? Less than 7. See, and because it is acidic in nature, blue litmus paper, when you dip the uh, blue litmus paper in acidic solution, it turns into red color. Hydrolysis constant of this kind of salt. Ionic product of water divided by which one is weaker here? Base is weaker. So that KB I am taking. And pH 7. What I am going to write plus or minus C. pH is less than 7. That's why I am taking minus here. Half PKB because uh, base is weaker minus half log C. So conclusive points are cationic hydrolysis takes place, H plus ions are produced, acidic solution is formed, blue litmus converted into red color, hydrolysis constant Kw by Kb, pH is because less than 7, 7 minus half PKB, why because base is weaker and minus half log C. By seeing side heading, we can get some points. Acid is stronger, so nature of solution is acidic. Base is weaker, KB is there. Salt hydrolysis by KB. Because acid solution is found, pH is less than 7 because minus are there in pH equation. So these are the points regarding salt of uh, sal strong acid plus weak base. The third category is salt of weak acid and weak base. Example for weak acid is acetic acid, weak base ammonium hydroxide to produce ammonium acetate and water. See ammonium acetate undergoes ionization to form ammonium ion and acetate ion. Because these two are coming from weak electrolytes, these are involved in salt hydrolysis. See, cationic hydrolysis and anionic hydrolysis, both are taking place here. So, ammonium ion involves in salt hydrolysis, means react with H2O to produce H plus ions. And acetate ion also involved in salt hydrolysis to produce acetic acid and OH minus ions. In the resulting solution, both H plus and OH minus ions are produced. Now, what is the nature of resulting solution? It is a very important fact here. See, the nature of solution depends on Ka and Kb values. Resultant solution will be. Resultant solution will be. If Ka is equals to Kb, the resulting solution is neutral in nature. If Ka is greater than Kb, the resulting solution is acidic in nature. If Ka is less than Kb, the nature of solution is base, basic. Basic solution is formed. So, the nature of resulting solution depends on Ka and Kb values. So, what are Ka and Kb? Dissociation constants of acid and bases respectively. And see, we can guess hydrolysis constant, KH. We know ionic product of water divided by which one is weaker, both are weaker. That's why I am taking Ka into Kb. In the same way, pH, 7. So, pH is depends on Ka and Kb values. That's why pKa and pKb values. Based on that, half plus half pKa minus half pkb so this is the nature of salt of weak acid and weak base see in weak acid and weak base both cationic and anionic hydrolysis takes place 
both H plus and OH minus ions are produced. The nature of resulting solution will be neutral, acidic and basic depending on Ka and Kb values. We can guess the Kh value because both are weak. Ka into Kb values are uh, added in uh, or taken in denominator. In pH formula, plus half pKa minus half pKb. Have to remember this point. The fourth category of salt. It is salt of strong acid and strong base. Example for strong acid is hydrochloric acid. Strong base is NaOH to form NaCl plus H2O. See in NaCl, Na plus and Cl minus ions both are coming from strong electrolytes. That's why NaCl does not undergo salt hydrolysis. NaCl does not undergo salt hydrolysis. Okay. So, because it does not undergo salt hydrolysis, we cannot predict the nature of solution. Uh, there is no scope for uh, acidic uh, nature of solution and basic nature of solution. And this is the salt of strong acid and strong base. I hope you understand uh, this is salt hydrolysis. Okay. And uh, practice some bits in salt hydrolysis after watching this video. Thank you.